Hey guys and welcome to today's 12 minute follow along. Today we're going to be focusing on strength training. You don't need any equipment to these exercises but for demonstration purposes today me and Mo are going to be using a pair of dumbbells and a mat. And the beauty of these exercises guys is that you can do it anytime, anywhere. Not really sure that you can do these anywhere bro. What, you're going to, you're going to do these exercises on a bus? Fair enough, I can't lie, you got me there. You, you made your point. Just like Silly said, it's gonna be 12 minutes, four exercises, three rounds. We're gonna go for 40 seconds working period and a 20 second rest period. Before we go into them, I'm just gonna show you what each movement looks like. So Silly, you wanna show us our first movement? It's gonna be a goblet squat. I'll demonstrate with the weight from side angle. Silly will show you what it looks like from the front. Bow. So if you wanna hold the dumbbell as close to your chest as possible, come down Ooh. and right back up. Fantastic. Second one is a bit more difficult to do with the weight, but you can. If you wanna get down and work our core, we're gonna do a plank. If you wanna use a plate or a dumbbell and put it on top of your colleague, that's how you're gonna really get a weighted plank. If you wanna get back up silly after 40 seconds of that, 20 seconds rest, we're gonna go into our reverse lunges. So if you wanna show us a reverse lunge from the side angle, yeah. and I'll show you with the dumbbells, either side of you, you wanna come down and back, <sighs> up and front. Again, you wanna do one on each leg and do it for 40 consecutive seconds before we go into our rest. And the last one, we're gonna go right back to our core. So if you wanna get down and show us a crunch, <laughs> As you can see, Sully is now working hard through his crunches. If you want to be in Sully's position where he is right now and join us for one of these workouts, stay tuned to the end of this video and we can show you how to win a chance to do just that. You ready to get started? Yes, sir. Can we get a clock on the board, please? All right, we're going to get started in three, two, one. Let's go. You want to come nice and deep, down and back up. Don't worry if you can't get so deep, just come as low as you physically can and come straight back up. Again, if it's too hard, with the dumbbells, you can just do it without. I'm gonna go for a side angle so you can see what they look like. And we're just gonna keep going. As many reps as you can get in these 40 seconds, but make sure you keep them nice and controlled. Control the workout the whole way through. You don't wanna be rushing, you don't wanna be panicking. You really wanna feel the burn on your quads as you come down. Fantastic. What you also wanna avoid is getting your heels to come up off the floor. So try and not squat down and get the heels up off the floor. You wanna stay nice and low. You've got five, four, Three, two, and one. We're Whoa. gonna take our first 20 second rest. How was that, Silly? My legs are feeling it. They're on fire. <laughs> They're really feeling it. Out here in the sun, <clears throat> trying to get this workout going. We're gonna go for our second exercise, get down into a plank position. I'm not gonna do this, but I'll, construct, I'll instruct Silly as to how he's gonna do it. So in three, two, one, and go. What you wanna do, like he's doing, is bring the bum down and tense the glutes. Tense the glutes, I wanna see them tense. There we tense. go. Keep anymore, the core mate. engaged as well, fantastic. He's just gonna hold that position. If you wanna make it even harder, you can focus on driving the elbows towards your ankles. That's gonna make it harder. You really wanna feel your core engaged and shaking. If it's not shaking, if you're not dripping, you're doing it wrong. How long, mate? How, how long? are you feeling, Sully? How long, how long left, mate? Honestly, if you wanna slow time down, a plank is the perfect way, because these seconds will take forever to pass. And I'm hoping they're speeding this up right now, but they're actually not. I'm gonna join you for these last bits. Please. Just so we can suffer together. Let's go. Four, three, two, ah. and one. Take that nice little rest. Well, uh, don't worry, we've just done our core. We're gonna go back to our legs now. So instead of doing uh, both legs at the same time, we're gonna work unilaterally. So that's one leg at a time. If you're doing it with dumbbells, you wanna pick up both dumbbells this time and do them with each dumbbell at each side. I'm gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. It's a reverse lunges. So you wanna stay nice and upright with your torso, dumbbell on each side. Silly fantastic. Can I do my hands, keep my hands on it. You can keep your hands wherever you feel most comfortable. Mine are beside me, but if I do feel more comfortable holding up here, then that's also fine. You really wanna focus on stretching the back leg as far down as possible. If you want the little rest, you can let your knee rest on the floor and drive with that front foot again. But if not, try and keep your knee off the floor the whole time and that will really keep the time under tension uh, on the muscles. So you wanna focus on that. How are you feeling, Sully? Yeah, feeling good, feeling the burn. All right, we're gonna go again for our rest in three, two, one. And our last exercise is gonna be a crunch. So Sully, if you wanna get down, on the mat, we're not gonna start yet. Take the nice little rest. We're gonna keep our feet on the floor and you're gonna just try and elevate your chest 
towards the sky. You're not going to sit up the whole way, you're just going to crunch. So, Sully, show so them what that stay down, looks yeah. like. Huh? My legs stay down? Legs will stay down, yeah. So you can bend your knees though. In three, two, one, you want to come up. Fantastic. You can either do a sit up like this, or if you want to go into a crunch, you can just focus on bringing your chest just to the sky and back down. Really focus on keeping the top of your abs engaged and up and back down. You can go the whole way like Sully is, or you can just come up right here, tense and back down. Again, with these exercises and the rest of them that we've done, you want to focus on time under tension. We're gonna be doing these for 40 seconds. So you don't wanna rush through the exercise. You really wanna contract the muscle to build that core strength and to build the strength in your legs. As you can see, I'm already sweating and I haven't even done an exercise. So I don't know how Silly's doing this. And we're gonna rest. There we go, Silly. We're gonna go for 20 seconds. That was one round. We've got two more rounds of this. Silly, how are you feeling? We're getting nice and warm. Are you ready? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Right, yeah, fantastic. Man. We're gonna go right back into our goblet squat. So if you remember that one, Silly. Yeah. We're gonna pick up the dumbbell I can in forget. three, two, one. Let's go. Down, up, fantastic. Down, up, and again. All of you back home as well, follow. Stay nice and in tune with us and up let's go down and up try and keep your chest up and up there we go fantastic down up keep going down up keep going silly where are you feeling it down quads up. quads 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 we love it quads, quads are really are really helpful right for now. when you are running because your legs really need to get that strength they're the ones that are going to tire out especially when you're doing these longer distances so you need to get that muscle and build that strength strength and conditioning is so important as a runner no weakness keep going silly no weakness we got three, two, and one. Rest, silly. Fantastic. Okay. Do you remember what we're doing next? It was a, not a plank, it was a... It was a plank. Was Let's a plank? get back. Your head's clearly gone with the sun. Let's go. All right, not yet. We're going to rest. Make sure you take the full rest period because I'm already tired and I have not done these exercises. So we're going to go in four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Get into that high plank position and hold. Like I said, time is going to slow right this down. This is going to feel like a year. This is going to feel like two years. Keep Maybe that a core. decade. <laughs> Keep that core engaged, silly. This is gonna feel like a decade. But it's not a decade, it's only 30 seconds and you got this. It's 40 seconds, sir. 40. Okay. That's okay. If you're doing this back home as well, just make sure you're holding. Hold as tight as you can. You don't wanna let this position go. You don't want your bum to come down. You don't wanna push your bum into the sky. You wanna stay nice and neutral. Just keep holding, guys. Keep holding, we're almost there. We're in this together. Uh... Make sure you breathe. All right, we've got two. One and that's it. So we're going to get back up again. We're going to go to our reverse lunges. Yeah, Is it reverse lunges? I'm losing the plot myself now. Okay, wicked. <clears throat> rest. We got a bit of time. Take the rest. Breathe. <sighs> and ah, oh, look at that. Make sure you're breathing back home as well. Make sure you are breathing. I mean, we're going to go in to three, two, and one. Let's go. <sighs> and up. Switch legs. And up. Beautiful. Oh, look at this in and sync. Up. Oh. So do it with us guys, stay Ooh. with us. And up, let's go. Oh. And up, keep going. If you do I need don't... to take a bit longer break, then feel free to tap out and tap right back in when you feel ready again. Yeah. If not, just stay with us, keep pushing. It's only 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. You guys got the space bar, we don't have the space bar button. Let's go. <laughs> so make use of that space bar if you need it. Do not pause the workout guys, do not pause it. Let's finish the round strong, let's go. All right, we've got three seconds on the clock. Two and one, fantastic. We're gonna take our rest, put the dumbbells right back down and we're back into crunches, back into our core. People forget core exercises are just as important as leg exercises. As soon as your core loses stability, the runs get so much harder. So you wanna focus on that. We're gonna go right back into it in two and one. Let's go. Crunch up and back down. Crunch up and back down. Crunch up and back down. Again, with these exercises, if you do have a partner or you want to tuck your toes under a sofa, it can help to have someone sit on top of this and use your core so you take the legs out of the equation. So just like Sully's doing now and just like I'm holding down, that will be a fantastic way to ensure that your core is staying engaged. If you're doing the full sit-ups, if not, then just come up these little mini ones here and just focus on keeping that core engaged the whole time. Beautiful. And we're gonna go for four, three, two, and one. So again, that was two rounds. We've got one more round of this, Sully. Are you ready for it? Let's go. Are you ready back home? 
Fantastic. Okay, so again, if you are struggling, you can pause here if you need a bit more rest in between the rounds. But if not, we've got one round left and then we're done. Is it fini? So we've got, we're going to go in three, two, and one. Goblet squats for us, please. Sully, let's go. Together and down and up. Make sure back home you're coming with us. In sync, perfect. And down and up. Again, focus on keeping that chest up, chin up, and let's go. Down and up, fantastic. Heels on the ground. Don't let those heels come off the ground. Stay with us, guys, stay with us. We only got about 20 seconds left. Let's go. And up, down, and up, down, and up. Fantastic, just keep going, keep grooving to the music. We will get through this, one at a time. Let's go. All right, two more, and down, and up, and rest. Amazing work back home, guys, amazing work, silly. Let's go, and we've got three exercises left of this final round of our exercises. So if you wanna get down on the floor, we're gonna go back into our core. Remember, it's the plank. The last plank the, you're gonna have to do floor, today. The time slow machine. So. And we're gonna get started in go. Hold that plank, core engaged, glutes engaged. Remember to squeeze those glutes. Squeeze that core. It's the last plank you're gonna have to do today, guys. So really try and stay, hold it the whole time. If you are struggling to hold, you can bring one knee down. If it's still a bit too hard, you can bring both knees down, but try and keep your core and glutes engaged the whole time. If not, stay right up with us. We're struggling with you, we're sweating, we're in the park, and we're getting this working, just like you. Let's go. Keep going, silly. Keep going, silly, we got this. Keep going back home, guys, amazing work. We're almost done, we have three seconds left, two and one, and rest, perfect. Ooh. We've got two more exercises to go. I'm dripping, Sully's dripping. See, we're really putting the work in today. We're gonna go up to our reverse lunges. Let's go. Nice and ready. Work those quads. So, in three, two, and one, let's go. Reverse lunges, stay nice and upright again. Nice deep stretch as you step back. Let's go guys, we're on the last two exercises of this 12 minute exercise routine where you can do anywhere at any time, except on a bus. Let's go. <laughs> Keep going, silly. Uh, Keep going. Keep going back home, guys. Fantastic work. It's amazing stuff. Keep going, just push through. We're almost there. You're gonna thank yourself so much after doing this. Keep going, guys. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Talk to me, silly. Where are you feeling it? Quads. Quads. Please. As you can see, Sully's quads are burning and time for perfect. Got one more rest period, one more workout. Just core again. So we've done two leg exercises, two core exercises, repeat them three times. So we're gonna get right back down into our crunch. Last crunch of the day, last bit of ab work. Three, two, and one. Let's go, crunch up. If this is too easy for you, you can make it a little bit harder by getting those legs off the ground and crunching up but if it's not, keep both legs on the floor. Your natural progression would be to go from my position to Silly's position, two legs up off the ground. But if not, just stay exactly where you are and keep pushing. This is the last core exercise of this workout routine and then we'll be done. You're gonna thank yourself so much after, after doing this. Keep going, just a few more seconds on the clock and we'll be done. So, and time. Woo! That was intense. I'm sweating, Sully's sweating, and I'm sure you're sweating back home. So if you've made it this far into the video, please make sure you like and subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see from us next. And guys, if you want to be able to join us in one of these lovely workouts with myself and this lovely human being, all you have to do is literally just comment a dumbbell emoji below. It's that simple. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you here next time at The Running Channel. Why do you keep calling them dumbbells, bro? Dumbbell? Dumbbell. It's a dumbbell. I'm dumb. <laughs> Please, can we, can we caption it with dumbbells the whole way through? Dumbbell. Am I saying dumbbell? You are saying dumbbell. I don't know what a dumbbell is. <laughs>